Well, uh, hello everyone, this is Will from uh, the Inside Infinity Podcast and Disney Infinity TV, and today I'm here with the man himself at E3, Mr. Johnny Ganaki. What's up, Will? How you doing? Dude, thanks to you and, and thanks to the entire community that you've created around Infinity. Um, it means a lot to the team. Uh, there are people like you guys and Inside Infinity, uh, your whole community, that are, are a big part of this, so thanks. We really appreciate that. You know, we, we're partnering with the uh, Disney Infinity fans yeah. as well. Yeah, that's a I great know site. It's, yeah. like, it's a good community coming from there. It's toy box artists that are always Yeah, like, yeah, I know. Tigger loves bragging about, you know, <laughs> like, oh, this week, Clean Sweep did it again. <laughs> Disney Infinity fans, all us. So <laughs> That's community, right? <laughs> no, yeah. it's cool. Like, the, the, the whole fact of the matter is when we say that you guys mean the world to us, um, it, we really mean it. You know? Well, I, I mean, this is not really about 2.0, but it's just something that I've noticed. When, when 1 came out, um, it was such a new type of product, and it was, it was uh, Skylanders has been out, but Disney Infinity is something so much different and so much better, in my opinion, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> Thank you. It, 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 <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> Although they have a great product. I mean, yeah, their, I, game, their game is super cool, too, but, like, totally different, right? Yeah, yeah, and... and it's amazing, like, once you learn kind of those differences. And, and one thing I kind of noticed is the start of Infinity, it, it was kind of a learning experience, not only with this type of game, but also with the community. And I just want to say that the, the way the team at Disney Interact and that you stepped up and really interact with the community and, like, reach out. It's, I've been playing video games all my life, and I've never seen something like this and the, the kind of outreach. And, the webcast you do every week. <laughs> and, uh, Dude, it's crazy, you know, when we were talking about running those weekly contests, um, or I guess I can't legally call them contests, but whatever they are. <laughs> like, um, it, you know, challenges. It was, challenges. It was, uh, it's like four of us that do that. And we were just kind of like, we should do this for the community to, to highlight people the stuff that they're making. And so, you know, we had like nothing. We had like a thousand bucks. We went and got a camera and a green screen. Uh, and uh, and an intern and <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and recorded that, but like the thing about it that's so much fun is that and it's like crazy when you say, well, you're like, you know, you guys are, are cool for reaching out, but like I don't think you guys know the energy that you bring to our team, to the Avalanche guys, you know, that are right now in super crunch mode, trying to finish 2.0, and those guys all the time like. I get emails from them talking about you and, and everyone inside Infinity and talking about Disney Infinity fans and uh, guys at the other sites as well. It's like that brings so much energy and excitement to us that it keeps us going, um, despite everyone being super exhausted right now. And uh, But it's cool. I mean, um, we really hope that we deliver for, for all you guys um, on, on making a great game. Well, and, and as fans, we're obviously we're really passionate about the product, but it's... You can tell that everyone working on it as well has the same sort of passion. I mean, there's there's reasons those little kind of nods, like the Cinderella coach, for example, or um, you know, Stitch's surfboard. You know, in the first glance, like, well, maybe we don't have figures or, or playsets for those right now. Um, right now, yeah, <laughs> infinite possibility. But you, you recognize the importance <laughs> of that. Drop that one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, it's cool just knowing that, like. The product, the the properties that you guys are now working with, with Marvel and obviously the Disney stuff, it's you're, you're kind of the holders of those. And as fans, you can't ask for something more than other fans, you know, kind of uh, controlling that. And then with your the new partnership with Marvel, like that's huge. You know? Yeah, I mean it's funny because a year ago when we were having these discussions with people about you know what is Disney Infinity, everyone's like, that's great. Where's the Marvel characters? <laughs> and what's funny is that we did. <laughs> We did the announce event, and then everyone's like, where's the Disney show? <laughs> so it's like, okay, you can't win. But, like, the thing is that, um, so we've announced Maleficent and Merida so far. Um, we have a whole bunch more Disney characters coming. Um, so, so new Disney pictures will be... Yeah, you're going to see, you're going to see, uh, I think, you know, pretty soon we're going to start announcing more Disney characters. But what was important is that at our announce event, we wanted to say, like, hey, you guys wanted Marvel figures, despite what you might think. <laughs> you guys said you wanted Marvel figures, and so it's like, boom, here is what we think is important, and working with Marvel has been amazing. Um, those guys are super cool, and they've helped educate us about what their priorities are as a business, why they want to highlight these specific characters, and bring them forward as kind of the next generation of, 
of Marvel superheroes and, as you will get to know them uh, throughout other forms of entertainment, whether that's the comic books or, or the films um, or the television series. So uh, it's like this guy right here, like um, actually Iron Fist. Um, you may have heard that they just did a, uh, a deal with Netflix uh, to do an original series, Iron Fist and several other characters. So it was fun because when we were going through the roster, we were thinking about all these different characters and they kind of let us in on, on the secrets of their plan and, and <laughs> why these characters that we're choosing make a lot of sense for Marvel fans and, and uh, you know, hopefully Disney fans are converting to Marvel fans as well. Well, and that's cool. I mean, that's, this shows a, a big picture initiative. It's not like, you know, what we may be giving you some of what's popular right now, um, but then also just a kind of big picture idea. I mean, we were having conversations like, I, we haven't even seen this character in the, the TV shows yet, and yet we're seeing him as a bad guy in, in Infinity yeah. Or so. Mysterio. Mysterio, yeah. Yeah, Mysterio. Mysterio. Cartoon. Yeah, Mysterio and, uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen, have you seen the trailer yet for, uh, The one that dropped this morning? Yeah. No, unfortunately, we've seen it looping, but, but we've been here all day, so. <laughs> yeah. Seen, you saw it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, um, <clears throat> the story, um, that the guys at, uh, Avalanche came up with was, uh, all about how, um, Green Goblin and Mysterio team up, and they kidnap Venom, and they clone symbiotes from him, and then unleash an attack of symbiotes on Manhattan. And so it's up to Spidey, Iron Fist, Nova, and, uh, and Nick Fury, our director of Nick Fury, um, to put a stop to him. And Venom, as you guys speculated, and I saw everyone posting and tweeting <laughs> me like, hey, Target's put up a retail thing, and we had a great meeting with Target today about that. Um, but, uh, <laughs> Um, he kind of is more of like a great character uh, in the story, which is fun because, you know, uh, obviously he's, he's always kind of been a bad guy, but um, just because he's a bad guy does not mean he is a bad guy. Right. Uh, <laughs> so, in the comics, he's also like kind of between good guy and bad Yeah, and that's always been the coolest thing about Marvel is they're, they're like superheroes with real issues. Right. Right? And um, that's what makes them relatable to the guys like you and me, you know? Um, Speaking of which, so I'm looking at the figures here, and they're all here except for one, um, which is Venom. And um, I tweeted earlier today that we've been giving out figures to, to people that come and do a superhero selfie in the booth, and um, that Venom was our chase character, the hardest one to get. Right. Uh, we're giving them out like super rare. But Will, I gave you one. So I'm can you get death threats now? You realize that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't going to share it. Go ahead. Let's see. Look, do you have it? Where is it? It's, 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 it's in the pull, pull it out. Box. Box. Yeah. Oh man, this is like, like exclusive. Like the official unboxing. <laughs> Will's <laughs> official unboxing of Venom. Look, Look this that. is this is for you and your entire team for being so cool to us and being a part of this too. I mean, you need to know, and, and you guys need to know that are watching that. We really do feel you, you have a seat at the development table as well. And we listen to you guys and, and we're looking at your forum posts and what you guys are saying on Facebook. I mean, it drove a lot of character decisions that you're going to see coming for the new Disney characters and content as well. I mean, you know, we can't do everything, but we've done a whole bunch of stuff um, around some of the, like, I was on Spike TV yesterday and I showed some of the new Disney um, power discs that we have. I think these are all the Marvel ones I got right now. So, let me see if I can walk through these. This is an attribute uh, uh, upgrade disc, and stats matter a ton inside of 2.0. We basically um, uh, gutted the, the insides of, of the game and made it such that like health and attack power and attack speed and those things make a huge difference now. So um, the relevancy of all the 1.0 discs that gave you those attribute boosts is going to be incredibly important with 2.0. But we have new ones that will give you not only attribute boost, but if you actually pair this particular disc with Cap, that's actually going to change his costume. Oh, and then this particular one with Iron Man, you can still give it to anyone. Like you can put it underneath um, uh, Iron Fist, and he'll still get an attribute boost. But if you put it under Iron Man, it'll actually change him from his standard armor to his Mark VII armor. That's um, awesome. Same thing with Spidey. This one is the uh, Black Spider-Man costume. Um, so those are some of the new um, circular discs that we have. I we played also... with that, it blew my mind. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> if that's the black costume, I'm gonna freak. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we have these team-up discs. Um, so at the announce event, we showed a couple of these, but 
These ones, um, this particular one will summon Iron Patriot, which is good in bat boss battles and that kind of thing. This one will do a missile strike from a shield helicarrier. So those work really well in the toy box games, um, the, the dungeon crawler and the tower defense that we announced, um, but they also work in all the play sets as well. Um, this one will bring Winter Soldier into the game. This is a, a costume change disc for Hulk to turn him into Grey Hulk. And then we've got a ton of um, new discs specifically for the toy box mode itself. So we've got these that will um, um, change the, uh, uh, the sky and the ground to be themed to um, uh, uh, Stark's man. I forget what it is. Yeah, it's <laughs> like man. his HUD, right? Yeah, like, exactly. So it's like, like the Jarvis interface. Yeah. So um, in, in terms of the new discs, the new types of discs, the costume change and the sidekick yeah. thing, are, are we going to see that in, for Disney as well? Like, yeah, you are. Okay, cool. And so I know so like... costume changes on uh, Disney, Disney characters. Disney. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I wish I... I mean, it's like on the tip of my tongue, I'd love to tell you, but <laughs> you don't get I want PR to, PR to yeah, get mad at me. Um, this is Lola. Um, so that's, a, that's some of that. This is the spider buggy. There's a whole bunch of people who are like, I see so much Spider-Man stuff, you must be coming. It's like, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, this is Dinosaur Land from, uh, well, so yeah, we've got a lot of, we have 40 new Marvel discs and 40 new Disney discs that are coming. Wow. Um, they all Throughout the release of 2.0? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, at launch, we're going to release all the Marvel ones. Okay. And then um, we'll launch the Disney ones later, like in November. Okay. Um, and then all of your old discs will work. Oh yeah, and then dupes. Um, so... Yeah. If you have dupes, um, we're doing a thing where, like, let's say right now you've got a bunch of Alice in Wonderland discs. <laughs> if you put those down, I know, like, that's the example everyone loves. <laughs> if you put those down, it's actually going to give you extra experience points that you can then use to upgrade your character's attributes what? and skills. Now, it's only a one-time use. Oh, really? Um, yeah, so... For, it, for that one time instead of For it that down. one specific disc, that one time. Oh, wow. wow. So basically, like, Will, on your profile, let's say you have a whole bunch of duplicate power discs, um, you can like have uh, um, uh, Nova there and like put those ones down and then you know it'll give you that boost in game and then um, you can pull them off and it'll, it'll, it'll only ever work for you that one time, that one specific disc. That's so we know cool. which disc it is and that kind of thing. Um, so maybe that sounded more confusing for some people, but like, <laughs> is that the thing is... Is that trading? Yeah. Well no, the deal is that like, um, I feel like our community was saying like, hey, we're getting a lot of duplicate discs. So yeah, That's I mean... Cool. Theoretically, you can you know get the get the experience you know the spark uh, bonus from having a duplicate disc and then trade it to a friend, and you know that's totally fine. Um, but we just wanted to make sure that we were still trying to reward our players for having duplicate discs and making that investment. Um, and so that I know people are going to go, well, then why put them in blind bags? <laughs> and so uh, this yeah. year you will see that we're going to have um, power discs that are done in specific configurations. We're working through that right now. Potentially themed to different Disney and Marvel yeah. properties, so we're working. So maybe not all of them, but some. You might have some that aren't necessarily the blind packs. Like, I mean, yeah. would it be kind of like the toy box packs? Yeah, I like mean, the, think of it like. Um, That's cool, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's just some stuff. I don't know. Think of it like, uh, you know, if you will, like an hanging tab right in the discs and some sort of configuration oh, okay. like that. Like theme to a property for Disney Infinity. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we're working through it right now. It's all in development stuff. So you get some behind the scenes info. <laughs> um, so, yeah. All right, we have to do your unboxing. Do. Yeah, let's see if. Uh... While, while he's doing that, um, I noticed that you haven't shown any like villain figures. Now, was that a direct response to people who complained about playing as villains against the same villain? Or. or... So the trick is, there's no right way to answer this question <laughs> that's not going to get me in trouble. So what I can talk about is the characters that we have announced and shown. Um, and uh, we've said there's, there's over 20 Marvel characters coming. Um, and obviously uh, uh, more Disney characters as well. So um, yeah, just you have to wait and see which characters we announce and, uh, and we release. All right. Just a few playset questions. Sure. Um, Fade Sue, you announced an exclusive with PlayStation yesterday for yeah. early Hulk uh, collector's yeah. edition. Yes. Um, is that going to be only for the U.S. or is it going to be worldwide? It's exclusive? worldwide. Okay. Um, and then, um, yeah. So let's let's go over all of those things. So we're going to have a collector's edition. Uh, don't know when it's going to be available for pre-order yet. Okay. Um, they're, they're, we're working with the retailers right now to figure out when we want to do it. I think it's probably Comic Con at 
I think it's way through. Um, yeah, it's, it's so that's like uh, end of July, mid July, end of July, somewhere around there. So there's that. Um, then we announced that we're doing a Vita version. Um, so that will be early next year. Um, and then that will also be compatible with PlayStation TV. So Sony has this new box that they're putting out called PlayStation TV. Um, and it's, it's super cool and, and really powerful. So you'll be able to take your Vita version and um, plug it into your PlayStation TV to then play the Vita version on your big screen if you want to. Will, will that be pretty full feature? Not, not like the DS port of no, last year? No, it will not be like the DS port of last year. <laughs> it will be um, you know, Infinity as, as you know it. Awesome. Uh, so we'll have play sets, uh, we'll have characters, toy box, the whole nine yards. Our intention is to deliver that console quality experience on the Vita and we're working closely with Sony to make sure we achieve that. Well, that's great. That opens up the door to people that maybe they don't want a PS4 that's a four hundred dollar system, but they do want this hundred dollar set top box for their for their house, and they can still play Disney with that. Yeah, so I mean, it's a great point of entry for people to to um, to get on the on the platform. And then there is uh, there will be a base for that. Uh, it'll be Bluetooth, so it'll communicate to your Vita. Uh, it'll also communicate to the PlayStation TV box, which has Bluetooth. Um, to have a rechargeable battery so you don't have to worry with swapping in and out batteries and stuff. So uh, we just wanted to do what we thought was right for our players because we thought that you know, having batteries and having to change them in and out all the time might not be the best experience. So we put a rechargeable battery in there, you plug it in just like you would your phone, uh, USB port, uh, the micro USB on the front, and then that charges it so you can you know, have, have that on the go. Um, oh, and then, okay, so we didn't finish this, your collector, the collector's edition, sorry to cut you off. No, it's just, I know that that your guys like really care a lot about this information, so I want to get as much of that, this out there as I can. There's only so many things I can say in 140 characters on Twitter. Um, so, that collector's edition, okay. Um, I did, so, I was in the nosebleeds at the Sony yeah. event, so did they show it? I, or did they just announce it? Do you know? Yeah, uh, honestly, they showed it on the screen. Did they show it on the screen? They didn't have it like right then. It, it wasn't like the biggest thing. Okay. Um, I'll have to talk to Adam about that. <laughs> um, so it's big. Um, the base. The collector's edition. Oh, so okay. oh, I... it is It is your uh, Marvel Superhero Starter Pack as you know it. It also comes with Cap, and it comes with Hawkeye, and it comes with Hulk. Okay? And Hulk is available through that collect. That collector's edition will be available at launch, and uh, it will be exclusive to PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Hulk will then be released as a single 30 days later. So everyone's saying like, it sounds like it's exclusive right. to PlayStation. It is the time exclusive. Um, just at launch, 30 days later, he goes live. Um, so that'll be good. Now the base that it's on, uh, it's a it's a collector's display. It's a diorama. Um, oh, wow. It is huge. Um, it is like, uh, well, I mean, to, to put it in perspective, it's this gigantic frost beast um, that's one of the bosses inside the Avengers playset. And then it has a spot for you to put all of your characters down, <laughs> all of the, all the <laughs> Avengers lined up. Who am I missing? Iron Man. Okay? And then this thing is like this, right? It's like, ah, right? But it has them all. And it also lights up. Oh, so okay. like when it gets to be yeah. nighttime, you can turn it on. <laughs> and so all of their bases light up, plus like icicles coming out of the frost beast and everything. So like the true Infinity fam, the true Marvel collector, this would be a really, really nice piece to display um, all the Avengers. So is, is that a time exclusive too, or is the collector's edition only on the Sony uh, platform? Uh, it's only on the Sony platforms okay. right now. So you can only get it if you pre-order uh, the PS3 or the PS4. So that's, yeah, that's how it is. I think you're bringing that one out so my wife will get mad at me for more Disney Infinity stuff in that space. <laughs> well, at least you can say, like, this is a, a display that, you know, kind of organizes these things. So, I don't know, maybe you maybe can do that. Uh, just two more quick questions. Yeah. And uh, so, I forgot one of them, but one I remember. <laughs> um, can you tell us, we know there's going to be starter packs without the base. Um, so that's no. Oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> we are going to, so the starter packs at retail will all have a base inside of them. Okay. Um, for players that want to upgrade from 1.0 to 2.0 and use their existing base and figures, they can go online, Xbox Live, uh, Nintendo Shop, PlayStation Network, 
and purchase on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, or Wii U, just Disney Infinity 2.0 toy box. So then you can use all of your existing uh, figures and banks without doing the full um, retail starter pack. And so that's what our plan is to handle the digital upgrades. So will there be any way for them to play the Avengers starter pack at some point? Yeah, so when the digital upgrade is released, um, which may or it, it probably will not be at the same time as um, the Marvel Starter Pack comes okay. out, but probably a little bit later. Okay. Um, when that is released, there will be an Avengers playset pack that will come with Iron Man and Black Widow um, that you can buy, and then we'll offer, um, I think it's Thor, as a single. Perfect. So that's that's how that will work. Okay. And I know, like, the thing is this, and, and so you guys know that are watching right now, in trying to be all things to all people to make sure that we protect people's investments, whether that's, you know, making sure your duplicates now have value with the power of this, or making sure you can use your old base um, inside of the new game. I, the, the big thing is that it's a, it can become a really confusing message. Like, if you try to go out there and blanket say that to people, they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> right. yeah. So that's why like, we were really deliberate, and there's a lot of discussion about it. Like, when should we start talking about this and messaging this to our community? Because there are people that are going to want to do that, and we respect that and understand that. Um, but at the same time, there's only so much retail space that we have, so having a baseless version um, available at retail was, was a difficult thing to work out. Because you've got Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Wii U, a Vita, plus all your 1.0 starter packs there, plus all of your new characters, plus new power discs from those characters, plus all the old characters. Like, there's only so much space that you can fit into a retail display. Right. And so we began saying, okay, what is, the, what is the thing that we can do for our players to make sure that people have a base, have figures, can feel good about you know, purchasing a digital upgrade, and, uh, and at the same time, you know, deal with the constraints of, of a retail channel. Right. So that's a pretty long-winded explanation, but I feel like it's the right level of detail for the right audience to kind of understand how this works. We really appreciate There's lots of questions about that, and I think this will hear about a lot of people's concerns. So. Yeah. Um, well, I want to make sure we respect your time. I know you're busy, guys. So let's get to this, and then maybe we can wrap things up here. So okay. this is the exclusive... Uh, the chaser, or, what, or the, the this is the yeah. So in the toy industry, they call they call it like you know chase wow. figures yeah. when it's like super rare and hard to get. So That's for E three, you know, pull them out of your. Uh, oh yeah. Just, oh, there you go. Yeah. Right? Huh? That that is awesome. It, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the bulk of the Hulk and uh, and Wreck It Ralph as far as Dude, size. We, we went through so many design iterations on Venom. And I remember I was at Avalanche, and I went to John Diesta's office, who, and he was playing around with. He had a different version of Venom that was kind of closer to to Spidey. I mean, he was he was more bulky, but um, and he was playing around with. He's like, let's see what Venom would look like on the Hulk rig, you know, the the the, um, the rig that we use for the animations, the size of the character. And we saw that, and we're like, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, and. Um, it uh, it came together so quickly, and he does such an amazing job, and and so do you know all the guys on his team, all the other concept artists at Avalanche. I mean, just the way that these characters have been realized um, to be true to the Infinity art style. Um, at the same time, you know, when you look at that figure, you know that's fight, you know that's Venom, you know that that's uh, you know Director Fury. Did I mention that? Uh, we did get Samuel L. Jackson to. You did? Yeah. Oh, that is <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And so I noticed that a lot of the voices sounded like they were from the current cartoon. Yeah. Um, but we, uh, yeah, it's totally crazy, right? Um, so uh, at the announce event, we did that piece where he was actually um, he was actually talking uh, you know, to the audience about Project Infinity, and we were just lucky enough that you know the stars totally aligned, and he was um, uh, shooting. Uh, uh, a new film, yeah. and we were able to get him in costume and uh, get him to do that little shout out for us. So, oh, wow. and, and record all his lines as well. That's so, cool. I mean, Samuel L. Jackson's like the coolest person yeah. in the entire world. <laughs> um, so then to have him, you know, do all of his lines there, and just totally. That's <laughs> amazing. Theory playing the theory. Yeah. yeah exactly. Well, it lends authenticity, right? And it starts making like it drives quality, right? Yeah. And so, I mean, we did our best to to cast 
as many as the most familiar voices from the different Marvel franchises as we knew, and, and same with the Disney. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to see as we announce more and more of the Disney characters, um, some of the most famous people, you know, reprise their roles. Uh, just like with Anna and Elsa, you know, Kristen Bell did uh, her voice for the game. And, um... At the Elma Zim, did she do... <laughs> as in, as in uh, uh... Yeah, Adele de Zim. I did, I made that joke on Toy Box TV, did you see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was so dumb. That was um, hilarious. <laughs> is Merida, um... Is that also Merida's I don't know that one specifically off the top of my head, but if I had to bet, it probably is. <laughs> um, but that's something that's, um... I didn't handle uh, the casting. Um, our uh, Casey and uh, and Brian at Avalanche, um, who worked on a lot of the scripts, and Adrian and Ralph, uh, those guys handle that stuff, and they're just total pros. Cool. Um, so uh, yeah, the performances will be will be great, and then That's yeah, awesome. the the curating is pretty cool. cool. I think I can do one more question. Great. Um, Actually, it's for you. Is there anything that you would like to say to not not just our listeners or the forum members, but just anyone that may come across this about Disney Infinity Two? Um, I think um, the probably the one question that you guys, a lot of people, have been asking is like, what's going on with the placements? Okay, so um, here's how this works. Um, inside of 2.0, if you take a 1.0 playset piece and you put it down it unlocks all of the toys from that playset that you would have otherwise earned by playing through it on 1.0. What does that mean? That means if you put down the Lone Ranger playset piece, it's going to unlock the crow pack, it's going to unlock all the buildings, it's going to unlock the hundreds of horses that you made in there. <laughs> Jason loves that, by the way. So it will do all that. It'll do the same thing for Toy Story Space, the same thing for cars, uh, as well as Incredibles, Monsters, and Pirates. So the thing is that the team felt we felt that um, we were doing enough upgrades to the engine, hence 2.0, that going back and retooling those to work with all the new things that we put into the game was going to be too difficult to do um, right now. Right. Now that doesn't mean, I'm not ruling out, and the team won't rule out that it maybe could happen in the future. I can hear them groaning <laughs> as they're watching this right now, because we argue about it all the time. But the thing is, again, kind of going back to, we wanted to make sure that you know, we're still offering a reward for you having those things. So um, that's the answer to that question. I think the other thing that's important for everyone to know, and I think is really exciting, is you know, like with Toy Box TV and all the stuff that you guys have been making out there in the community. Um, there's a lot of questions about so what happens when 2.0 comes out to all those toy boxes. So the guys at Avalanche um, killed themselves to make sure that all of your toy boxes from 1.0 that you've designed and all the toy boxes that we featured on the show will all work inside of 2.0. So right out the gate, when you start playing 2.0, you're gonna have over 150 toy boxes that you can download, made by some of the best artists in our community. And um, I think that's gonna be great. And then, you know, we hired some community members. Uh, we've, we've hired four of them now to join our team. We still have one slot open, and they're busy cranking on content for everyone at launch using all the new tools that we've integrated into the toy box mode. So great. I think, um, I think we're headed in the right direction. Well, I hope we are. We think, as fans, I think we, we agree that you are. So Thanks, we're really excited about things to come. So I'm very cool. happy. Dude, Thanks so much. Thanks, bro. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoy this your benefit. Epic. Yeah, so. sweet, dude.